Well, it took you uh, a bit of time to warm up at the weekend. Um, but then in the second half, you had five goals. Four of them were either outside the box or just inside it. But in, in terms of that, were you were you happy with the, the performance in the second half? And what, what was the, your magic instructions at half time? Good. Mark, I've been, I've been really pleased with the girls' contribution for the start of the campaign. Um, as you know, I think, again, you know, the, f the first half playing against Hibs, Hibs never, ever, never offered anything in terms of coming out and trying to, to make things difficult for us. Um, they sat in, they made it difficult, but again, again, the girls showed great patience in handling the ball and, and keeping the ball and trying to probe either to play around, over or through. Um, absolute faith in them. We knew that the second half, once we eventually, you know, broke them down, then the goals would come, they would get into the rhythm and, and the game would take care of itself, you know. In terms of um, Kirsty Howitt, you know, two fantastic goals from outside the area. Uh, perhaps no surprise considering her, her scoring record when she was with Glasgow City, but she has had a, an ACL injury. In terms of how you manage that, is there, is there a balance to be struck between the long-term um, effects of an injury like that and the desire to have a talent in the team. Yeah, definitely. I think <clears throat> you're just saying Kirsty Howitt's got a fantastic record. You know, Kayla McCoy as well has got an unbelievable record. You know, the, the amount of starts that she's had and coming on and the goal return that she gives. Jane Ross is is, is Jane Ross, as you know, experienced international player. Um, and again, a, a major contributing factor in her game is, is the goals. But we've got, we've got competition for places there. We've got three recognised number nines. And that competition drives them all in training. But with regards to the, the you know, the, the, the injury that Kirsty's had, we've, we've certainly got to always be mindful of the fact that we can't push it, you know, too much. And that, that's then governed by our sports science and our medical department, who, who regularly keep on top, top, on top of not just her training minutes, but the, the full squad's training minutes and the return, you know, the, the data that we get back for each training session allows us to to really understand where each player is physically uh, in, in any part of the week. You also mentioned Jane Ross, who um, she didn't start at the weekend. Could you give us an update on her? Yeah, well, we're, ho we're hopeful that she'll be able to train on Saturday. She'll come back into the fold on Saturday and train um, and, and be available for selection for the weekend as well. Mm -hmm. and, and lastly, this week you had a a visit from a, a very special visitor on Graham Souness. Um who, who did he make the biggest impression on you or the uh, girls? No, I think it was me. I think it was me, to be honest with you. I mean, what, what a, uh, Rangers Football Club's a fantastic club, as you know, and the, 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 the type of people that have came in through the doors as players and managers, you know, they're, they're, they're talking a legend there, you know, so... He, he gave up a, a, a bit of his time to talk to the girls and, and it was really, really a special moment, not just for myself, but for everybody at the club and none more so than the girls. And it was, uh, yeah, it was special. It was special and it was by chance, believe it or not, that he just happened to be, he happened to be at Ibrox. So um, it was great. Yeah, I mean, Malky and Mark's obviously covered the kind of what's, what's been like, but what a lot of focus will be on the players this week, obviously with the game coming to Ibrox, but... What about yourself? How does it feel for you? You were part of that walk around earlier on. I saw you in your trackie. Like, how's how's it been for you? It was good. It was it was important that we we, we got a kind of a, a feel for Ibrox. Um, a lot some some of the squad haven't actually been there and haven't actually been into the dressing rooms and just seen all the the nooks and crannies. Um, so it was just a wee bit of orientation in terms of. Where you where you go, where you're going to be changing, and then having a look at the the pitch, and you know simple things like the the crown. The pitch has got a crown, and you know we've probably never played on a pitch that's got that kind of slopes out from the middle. So getting getting there and just getting a kind of feel for it uh, was vital. It's got it's going to be vitally important for us as part of our preparation for this this coming up this game that's coming up. And in terms of Aberdeen, you obviously played them up at Pataudry uh, not that long ago, actually. Um, what kind of challenge do you expect from them? They're a young side. They can sometimes run a little bit hot and cold. I think they'll admit that themselves. Like what, what are you expecting from them on, on Sunday? Well, I think, you know, if you look at where their league position is, you know, they've gave a good account of, them, account of themselves. They've, they've came up for the, the division below, a sitting mid-table. 
They've got they've got they've got attributes. They're a good team, just as you've said. They're young. They'll they'll be competitive, and and again, it'll be no difference to to us. You know, the 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 focus for us will be to gain the three points in that game. Stick to stick to our our process and our game plan, um, and, and and then it comes down to individuals competing on the day and collectively collectively coming together, independently coming together to get the win. Just a final, like a wee nod as well to the, the performance league sides, because I, I saw that six teams win the league, the 19s won the cup recently as well, and that's been a part of the squad this season, likes of Emma Watson, um, Kirsten McLean, Julian Cleary, loads of people have had, had minutes. Has that helped you actually over the course of the season, maybe something you didn't maybe have as much to rely on in previous seasons? I think it just shows the, the depth and strength of the club. When, you know, when, when we... We, we first ventured in and, you know, Amy's done a fantastic job and she's really proud of the fact that, and I think it's one of, one of her uh, one of her goals that she's now achieved, that she's now going to have her football team turning out at, at Ibrox, you know, um, which is fantastic. But with regards to the, the younger ones, the younger ones have been introduced, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, slowly. They've been dipped in and dipped out of training um, and the experienced players that we have in, in the group, the younger ones will learn from them and, and, and it's about that mix of experience and youth and obviously they'll go back, the, the younger players will go back into their, 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 um, their, their age groups and they pass that knowledge on, that experience on. Um, so again, again, it's just, it's the way Rangers Football Club works um, and, and it's, it's, it's just a, a fantastic place to be at. You know, you can see, you can see that there's, there's a hunger and a desire to win at Rangers, but there's also the pathway for the young ones to develop in a in a safe environment, um, which for me, for me, it just it makes me so happy.